Hello everyone, welcome to The Short Answer. I'm Dr. Sue and it's a delight to be here with you. I've been on the go so much. I'm sitting here on my couch and I'm so relaxed and so happy about us just having a moment to, to chat, okay? So, so this is The Short Answer and I have to say that, that there is an amazing opportunity that we have if we just sit for a short period of time. You know, I've just returned from Egypt and the Holy Lands and we were back for three days and then we unpacked and packed and went to Austin, Texas and Santa Fe and Phoenix, Arizona for two level ones and a small group treatment intensive and then we were back for a couple of days and then out to New York and back and getting ready to leave for Cancun. I'm very excited about level two in Cancun this year. It's going to be a magnificent a magnificent journey. There's so much coming together with the level one coursework right now. There's a fusion happening. You know, people, alumni that are sitting in those courses that have been taking them before uh, are saying that this is like the information that we got at level three, etc. And it's my point. My point is that the time is now for us to awaken to the truth of who we are and we need some rubber meets the road tools and skills to do that. And so uh, what I get to share with you in the short answer, while it can't be the content of the coursework, it can certainly be setting us up to have an understanding of what it is that is happening. The, 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 here's the gist of it. If you have two minutes to yourself any moment of the day, if you would create 20 seconds for yourself to just come into the core of your body and squeeze your heart and squeeze in the belly and take a breath up and down through the central channel of your core. What you do is you tap into an endless supply of energy that is available to you. And if you are not energetic and you don't have enough vital force to get through the day uh, without collapsing or you can't keep you know, the kind of pace that you want to keep or, or you just don't have the energy to sit down and watch a movie, et cetera, without falling asleep, then, then what that tells us is you've come off core and you're out on the surface of yourself. You're out in the engaging personality, the protective personality, and something has pulled you into your emotional body or your mental body, and you're ruminating all the time. And so any moment in time that you can just say, you know, time out, I'm not doing that in this moment. Even if it's a moment, or especially if it's a moment where you feel that you're being surged and pulled into an escalating circumstance, you just set yourself back down. Set yourself back down inside of yourself and, and squeeze the mula bandha and squeeze your heart as you, as you learn in the coursework to do and breathe up and down your central channel and recognize that, you know, the whole point of me being here is to give my soul a life. It's not to please everybody else. It's not to overcome my life circumstances. It's not to finally one day forgive the family member that is so inconsiderate or unkind or not available. While all of those things are so important and we have to do those things, if we know that they are part of a greater plan, they become easier. And the greater plan is to give your soulful self a life to give the true essential you a place to live, a voice to speak with, uh, an exchange in the world. And it comes through your authenticity. You know, people ask me, how do you have the energy to do what you do? And how is it that this happens? And, you know, while I have the energy to do it all, it doesn't mean that it's functional for my whole team and all that. So everybody has to do this work so that we can keep and maintain this amazing pace. And so what I recognize is that everyone who decides to make a difference in their life experience benefits with more energy. It happens. And if you know how to breathe up and down the central core of this body and come into the essential self, what happens on an automatic level is that the mind becomes disconnected from the self in a controlling fashion and it releases and allows the essential self to be true and to be real and to be raw and to be authentically itself. And then the mind begins to serve it rather than us getting identified as the mind and having this stuck on us. Because when it's stuck on us, what happens is we start thinking in uh, emergency mode terms. We, keep, we start thinking in survival terms. We start making choices that aren't really what we want. They're, they're choices to make sure that you make more money or they're choices to make sure that somebody approves of you or that, that you're performing okay, et cetera. And, you know, the bottom line is we're here for much more than that. You're here for much more than that. So recently someone said something to me that just, just pulled, pulled me right up and I started to feel a surge that I used to feel. And it was because the words that were being used 
were words that I hadn't heard for I don't know how many years, decades, and in a in a disposition that that someone was approaching me with that that just isn't uh, familiar to me, and and a surge started to happen, and I recognized I'm not really invested in that surge. Those are old circuits that don't represent me anymore. But it had been a long time since someone tapped into me in that way, and so what I recognized was that. It was a liberating moment for me because I became super clear on on the distinction, even at the subconscious level. In other words, making a conscious distinction about information that's obviously stored at the subconscious level that was ready to, you know, just jump in. And it was um, instantly just uh, disconnected and just dropped to the floor because it wasn't a world that I need to live in anymore. And I, and I want you to recognize this, that... There's a version of you that doesn't have to engage in the way of thinking and the pattern of, of uh, processing that you are perhaps unconsciously hooked into. It doesn't have to be that way. You can feel yourself start to surge in what is a, just a habitual responsive pattern, but then you recognize as it's surging up that that's not who I am. That's not what I'm doing. That's, that's who I was, and that marks in time for you an amazing progress that you are able to witness of your own life experience. You know, there was a time 20 or 30 years ago, I would have bitten into that and chewed on it and see who came out alive. And, uh, you know, it's just not, it's not what we're here to do. So if you have a moment, any day, any time, simply drop into yourself, remember the truth of who you are, breathe it, and don't require the mind to remember that alone. Because the mind will be the reactive one when something comes along that it's time for you to take inventory on. And so, so what you must do is involve the body in the picture. Build some circuitry to allow you to, you may be spring-loaded, but you're going to be tethered. And so it may surge a bit, and, and then it just doesn't surge anymore. You recognize, you know what it is. You know what it is uh, that was serving you in the situation, and you know uh, that, that the rest is up to whomever else is involved and it's, it's really none of your business to try to figure out what the other person needs to learn or, or uh, uh, discuss how, how you think they could be operating differently in order to be uh, a better person or, or more free. It's really about you do your work and if everyone showed up doing their work, uh, the world would be a, a better place and there would be love and compassion with every intention, with every initiative, with everything that was said and instigated, it would come through love and compassion, not, uh, not a sense of ac accusation or desperation. You know, we have the capacity to transform these ways of being in humanity, and I'm standing in that uh, with everything that I have, to be all that I can in an anchored fashion all the time, and I'm inviting you to join me in that, because the world could use it right now. So we're going to discuss more of that on a deeper level as we get into the master class tonight, and so I invite you to click on the uh, on the button on your page and register for the masterclass if you're not already receiving that and join us for some how-to's and some deep discussion that makes a difference uh, for ourselves and for the planet. So I look forward to seeing you soon in the masterclass.